All right. So last part of blood typing. It's my last lecture for the year. You're welcome. Um, so we need to look at then how do we use information that we know about the antibodies and antigens in order to actually determine whose blood type is whose when you're in a lab. So what we do is we use these little well plates. Okay? And on the well plates, there are, um, oops, it's upside down. So you have, it's just a plastic thing. In a lab, you wouldn't necessarily use something like this um, if you're in an actual lab. Um, but you've got an indentation for that says A, you have an indentation that says B, and you have an indentation that says RH. So what you do is you take somebody's blood. So if I'm testing my blood, I would take a sample of blood, okay, and I would put a few drops of my blood in each one of these wells. And then what I would do is I need to see what um, antigen is actually present in my blood. So the way that we determine what antigen is present is by looking at what happens when we put an antibody in there and if does it react or does it not react. So does it coagulate or not? Okay, so I'm going to explain to you how to do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that explanation. I'm going to give you some results from a lab. And we would have done this in class I mean, you would have gotten results and you need to determine whose blood type is who. Um, so if we, if I draw okay, this well, right? And we have wells, this is our A, this is our B well, this is our RH well, right? So we're gonna take a sample of somebody's blood and we're gonna put a couple drops of blood in each one of the wells. So that is the patient's blood. So that would be like my blood. What we want to do then is there are three different antibodies that we can have, right? We can have antibodies to the A antigen, we can have antibodies to the B antigen, and we can have antibodies to the RH antigen. So we're going to have little vials of A antibodies, B antibodies, and RH antibodies. And what we're going to do is we are going to put in a antibodies into the A well. We're going to put B antibodies into the B well. Then we're going to have RH antibodies and we're going to stick them into the well that is marked RH. And then we're going to take like a toothpick and we're going to mix them up and then we're going to wait. If we have A antigens, we know that the A antibodies will attach to those A antigens and it will cause clotting. So what we look for is coagulation. So do, do we get clumping, like physical clumps like jello in the well or not? So say for example, okay, once we do that, I'm just gonna erase this for simplicity's sake. Okay say, so this is, oh, I shouldn't have erased it. So I'll ignore that. So I'm going to put the blood back in there. Okay. Say we end up getting clumps in our A antigen. And I don't know if you can see that. So I'll bring that closer. Okay. So there are clumps and there are clumps in our B, but no clumps in our RH. So what that means is that our A antibody actually found A antigens. So A antigens are present in this blood type. Our B antibody found the B antigens. So there's B, but our RH antibodies didn't clot, which means that there are no RH antigens in this person's blood. So this person would have A antigens, they would have B antigens, but they would not have R A antigens, which means this person would be A, B negative. Okay, A, B negative. Okay, so if I do another example, um, Oh, I forgot my paper towel. That's all right. So if I do another example, right, here's my wells again. Here's my A well, my B well, my RH well. I put blood from a patient in there, okay, and I get clumping in my B. Okay, so that means I didn't find A antibody or antigens 
I did find B antigens. I did not find RH antigens. So this person only has B antigens, so they would be B negative. Okay, so let's have you try one. Let's see. Okay, I am going to have clumping in my RH well. Okay, so no clumping in my A well, no clumping in my B well, but I do have clumping in my RH well. So take a minute and figure out what blood type you think this person would be. Okay, you should have come up with the answer of O positive. We didn't find A antigens. We did not find B antigens. So they don't have the A antigen or the B antigen. We did find RH, right? So that's what gives it the positive because we have no A or no um, B. You would have um, O blood. So that's how the lab is. So what I'm going to do um, after you watch this, you're going to look at um, a scenario of somebody who needs a blood transfusion and you need to figure out whose blood they should get and why.